Mr. Agdu. Surprisingly, Chairman, I'm interested when I see these words, climate action. So what is that action likely to be? Well, it's a reduction in the output of greenhouse gases from farms. Top of the list, CO2. Well, farmers could reduce the output of CO2 if they could use glyphosate and GM crops. Substantially reduce it. Next on the list is methane. How are they going to reduce methane output? By reducing the numbers of ruminant livestock. So that's going to contract the industry. Third on the list, nitrous oxide. How are they going to reduce the output of nitrous oxide? Stop growing leguminous crops. What is the Commission saying to them? Oh, you must grow more protein crops because they're so embarrassed about all these GM soybeans we're importing from South America. So there are some classic contradictions. So what does climate action actually mean if it doesn't mean that? As far as new entrants go and extra payments for them, I think this is the wrong way round. I would prefer to see payments for retirement with dignity to the older farms who are perhaps bed blocking so they can move out of the farms and the younger ones can come in with their new ideas. If you really want to support them, I think handing them money is the wrong idea. Loan guarantees is a much better idea and the guarantee itself would, would reduce as the years went by. Where could the industry use some injection of cash? Biosecurity infrastructure. The farms with the best biosecurity are the ones, by and large, that suffer less from, from disease. Also, I'd like to see uh, the CAP uh, put some primary funding into industry-funded assurance schemes. So when we do have these serious disease outbreaks, the industry can look after itself. The example I would like to give is sugar beet and rhizomania. Thank you very much. The points that were made about a tension between the environment and farmers' incomes... Um, there can be, but there doesn't always have to be, and there are quite a lot of environmental uh, steps that can be taken which improve those incomes. Um, growing uh, leguminous crops is often one of them. Uh, not only might they attract coupled support if you're lucky enough to be in the member state that offers it, um, but you're going to save on mineral fertilizer, and it's the mineral fertilizer of other crops that leads to the, uh, the emissions uh, uh, referred to. So, so growing uh, protein crops and leguminous crops um, it tends to be uh, a, a win-win in environmental terms, um, although there are various studies pointing out things that you've got to avoid doing if you're not going to throw the benefits away.